Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to your love and romance. Now before we get into the tarot, we're going to pull out three cards that represent, uh, these are the oracle cards. We're going to see what the general message is here and then we'll get into your reading Leo. Alrighty, I hope you guys had an amazing New Year's. If you have not subscribed to our channel, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get updates as soon as videos are uploaded. We're, we have tons of new videos coming through for you guys. So, all right, Leo, we have happy family. We have a woman holding a heart and we have the thinking woman. Okay. All right, Leos, you guys are definitely going into the end of January, beginning of February, really analyzing uh, where you want to be in regards to relationships, in regards to those people around you. Uh, this is you taking action towards making yourself happy or finding your happiness. For some of you guys, this could represent getting to a point of being emotionally available now. Uh, you guys are opening up or giving yourself the opportunity to open up to love. Now, the thinking woman does represent a bit of a blockage here. This is you guys overanalyzing, overthinking, over worrying about things that have not already manifested as of yet. Um, for some of you guys, this could be the fear of, fa of falling in love. It's almost like you're ready and you know that you deserve happiness and you feel like you're open and you're available. Um with a woman holding a heart this is a love offering that's coming through for you guys but the overthinking or the fears of getting hurt the fears of giving in to a connection uh, may be weighing heavy on you right now and, and it's almost like you feel you're ready and you're willing to take action or make whatever needs to happen for you to be able to find your happiness um but then you kind of linger in the thinking or in the wondering about the past and not wanting to be vulnerable or not wanting the fear of being loyal is what i'm hearing so for some of you guys it could be that in the past uh you were let down you were hurt or betrayed um i see you guys like i said you guys are ready to take flight you guys are ready to open up to love but at the same time there is some type of fear here uh, that is connected to your subconscious, okay? Now let's see what the tarot cards have for you guys. Now we're going to be pulling out your partner, person of interest, or the person coming towards you, their energy here. We have the world card, the knight of swords, and the ten of coins. Now your cards here is the emperor card, the hierophant, yeah, definitely, and the ace of swords. So there's definitely a new beginning coming towards you, Leo. Um, with the world card, I feel that if you're currently in a relationship, the partner's heavily thinking about taking it to the next level. Uh, this could be either commitment, this could be engagement, or this could be marriage. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, they're definitely, it's almost like a feeling like they've been waiting. This is a culmination of something that they've been thinking about for quite a while. However, they feel that now is the time. It could be that they feel financially stable. It could be that they feel great in their career or with their finances. And now they're willing to take that step. They're, they're seeing you as, as someone of value, Leo. They're seeing you as someone worthy of being able to offer you that type of commitment. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the person that feared some type of commitment. Uh, but I definitely do see commitment coming through for some of you guys here. Um, now, how you're viewing the situation here with the Emperor, you're ready. You've been ready, Leo. With the Hierophant, there is definitely some type of commitment coming to you with the Ace of Swords. Uh, this is a conversation or a gesture that the partner is going to be doing that is going to lead you to almost feeling that tingling sensation in your gut like something is up. And it could be because, in fact, they are coming through with some type of offering, some type of commitment, some type of giving. Um, it, for some of you guys, it could be that you've been waiting for this for quite a while um, now. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, there is an ending cycle that's happening here. With the Knight of Swords, I see someone looking at you. This could be through social media. This could be... 
um, an ex-partner if you were if there's recently a breakup and I see them like really looking at you wondering what you're doing looking at your social medias like I said with the ten of coins there I feel that there's some type of regret or there's some type of feeling of fear fear that you're going to come into your own Leo or fear that you're going to know the true value in yourself and that you're not going to be dealing with any nonsense anymore and the fear of empowering yourself is something that is very heavy on their mind it's almost like they've been knowing uh they've been knowing your worth they've been knowing that you're an amazing person uh that you're extremely loyal when it comes to relationships it could have been a situation where they took they took you for granted um, and now there's there's some type of feeling of wanting to resist the change or wanting to resist that you're getting ready to open up to love. Uh, and I think that that's something that for some of you guys, if you've been single for quite a while, it could be that they're so used to seeing you single or, or not hearing about you being with anyone that the, just the thought of that is creating a lot of fear within them. Um, with the Emperor card, you're very empowered. I see an Aries man. Uh, coming towards you, Leo. For some of you guys, it could be a Virgo. Um, it could be a Virgo that you're dealing with or will be dealing with. It could be an Aries man. It could be an, um, a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra type of energy uh, that's coming that's coming towards you. Some type of love offering here. I definitely do see commitment for you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single. Um, it's like a new chapter that's coming through. Now, their cards here is the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like, like I said, if you're dealing with, you know, a situation where you've been separated, you've been single for a while, with the Eight of Swords, I feel that the individual from your past, the person from your past is currently dealing with some type of stress, uh, some type of anxiety that is connected to you moving on. It's almost like they could intuitively feel that there's a change that's coming and they don't really know how to put their finger on it and the thought of it's almost like it's official you know it's over the moment you hear about your your ex-partner being in another relationship it's like it finally like it dawns on you and that's what i feel that they're feeling right now very heavily now with the king of swords here it, it could be an air energy that you were dealing with in the past um I see them like very much in their feelings. Um, now, I do want to mention here, we have the world and the 10 of pentacles. So this is an ending cycle for them as well. So I see that uh, perhaps you've been working all this time in healing yourself or making yourself stronger, Leo, and you're ready to uh, take the plunge or take the jump or start, you know, a, a new chapter in your life, whereas they've been denying that, they've been denying themselves that process. And now it's like they're feeling on a subconscious level like something's about to happen uh, where they're going to have to be confronted with the fact that you're moving on. Um, so again, it could be that work that they've been denying themselves to put in the work or to um, really acknowledge, you know, what you taught them, the lessons that you taught them in this relationship. Now, the cards that are for you, you have the five of cups, a lot of looking to the past. Um, but I feel that this is in a positive way. You look to the past to see the lessons that that you dealt with, the cards that you dealt with. And you're feeling very much empowered because from the difficulties, you found your strength. You found even your confidence. You found yourself again, Leo. Uh, as you can see, the Five of Cups looking towards the Emperor. And the Emperor is a very powerful card. It is, you know, knowing, knowing your royalty, knowing your worth and sitting on your throne and allowing, you know, allowing those that are of of quality or those that uh, could address you right no one can address the emperor unless they are up there in the scale um and, and the hierarchy and again i feel that you're coming into your own you're feeling much more powerful with the eight of wands this is passion coming towards you leo especially those of you guys that have had uh, lack of passion in your life for quite a while uh, that's definitely coming through and like I said it's going to come very unexpected for some of you guys now for others of you this could represent um, 
that you're letting go of the past, no longer looking to the past and moving on, moving forward in a very positive way. There could be a connection that you're dealing with someone um, that could be around you. This could be a friend. This could be someone that you're very aware of. And you've been feeling this type of connection. Like, I wonder if they're having feelings for me or not. It's like they're sending mixed signals. And the truth is, I do see that they are emotionally invested in you. Um, but I do feel that there is something about you that kind of intimidates them and makes them be, like overthink and overanalyze everything. They find it very difficult to read you. And that could be the anxiety that's coming to them uh, that they're dealing with. However, I feel that in this connection, if you are connecting with that type of energy where you feel like someone around you is very interested in you, but they kind of send mixed signals, you don't know how to uh, take it or how to, you know, react to it. What they're telling you here is uh, if they're not making the first move, take the plunge, Leo. Uh, you have no problem being aggressive. <laughs> So what they're telling you is it, it could be that they're very much in their head. They're overthinking and overanalyzing. Uh, it may take for you to take the initiative to open that conversation or to be able to allow them to know that you're open if you are interested in them. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you guidance. I hope it helped you and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.